this works this will be effective to you where other things may not the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraught thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Acts chapter 2 verse 33 being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise say the promise the promise of the Holy Ghost so who is the promise the Holy Ghost is the promise he's the one we're talking about now a promise is something said something that somebody said they will do or something will come to pass that's a promise you understand a promise right say I promise that's the Holy Ghost's name is the promise and a promise is something said so let's go see what the Holy Ghost said second Peter chapter 1 verse 19 we have also a more sure word of prophecy verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of god spake as they were moved by the holy ghost they spake as they were moved by the holy ghost not by the will of that man but by the will of the Holy Ghost so here we have scriptures words spoken by the Holy Ghost and specifically his will verse 19 again we have a more sure word of prophecy and that's what he's talking about these are a more sure word a more sure word is a promise and then we have this more sure word which is actually words of the Holy Ghost so we have the Holy Ghost being a promise and saying words and a promise is word said I promise I promise what what is it that he the promise is promising are you getting this a promise without something said is not a promise you could say oh the Holy Ghost is a promise and there was nothing said a promise without something said is not a promise a promise with something said I hope you're getting this a promise Holy Ghost with something said is something that's a promise and it's more sure <laughs> so he has said certain things he is those things said he the Holy Ghost is a promise the things he said are a promise of him he is in your life those things if you say them so he the Holy Ghost will do for you anything you say he will do for you and he won't do for you the things that you don't say he will do for you in fact as the promise that he is and that he has said certain things he will do for you whatever you say amen to or whatever you say so be it unto me and that's what amen means he is the promise he said certain things and he will be that promise unto you whatever you say amen unto or so be it unto me 
2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 for all the promises of God in him are yea meaning he's already said yes and in him amen and amen like I said means so be it so he's already said the promises he said all the promises now we have to say the so be it unto me Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 I will hasten my word to perform it other versions say I will watch over my word to perform it him fulfilling and performing his word would be a promise he said he will watch over his word to perform it perform what you say specifically to perform the word spoken because we had to say the amen or the so be it unto me and he watches for it he looks for it he listens for it when he hears his word he hastens to perform it is that a promise that's a promise he's again you could say this verse is revealing him as the promise that would be the promise him hastening his word to perform it whatever that word was he does it I will watch over my word to perform it I will watch over my word spoken to perform it because you can understand that right I don't have time to go through all of this but this Bible is chuck full of all of his promises he could just sit there on the shelf or on the counter and nothing come to pass as soon as you take it and speak it and say so be it unto me yes and amen he hearkens and he watches for that to perform it it what it the promise spoken isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it so here it says he sent his word it came out of his mouth what do we have scriptures that came through holy men of old who spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost wrote them down here they are now those words are not going to return to him without prospering or accomplishing the thing that he said well how are those words going to return to him how do words return someone has to say them when we begin to say his word we're returning his word to him and they begin to accomplish that now accomplishing that thing that it was sent for this itself is a promise that if I return his word to him it will produce it will accomplish that's the promise functioning as I return his word by speaking it it begins to accomplish and prosper the thing that's the promise being fulfilled in my life and who's the one accomplishing it it's the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today who is the promise and we're learning how to walk with the promise he has specifically designed his word to produce perform and accomplish itself that word which was said in any person who will dare say it the problem is people aren't opening up their mouth and saying it and they won't say it until it manifests some people say well I said that once once isn't gonna do it you need to say it until so God the Holy Ghost the promise hears 
his word his ears are open to his words there's faith in his word God hears faith say God hears faith where is faith faith is in his word he hears his word and performs it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he's in the earth and he hears his word to perform it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and he hears his word to perform it how's he gonna hear his word someone has to say his word and if you can learn this way of getting him the Holy Ghost his power and his performance then it shall not be taken from you there's a whole new level you can't see yet until you go through this door I remember one of the first times when I had this work for me I was in a situation where I had uh, less than a month to leave whatever place I was living in and I had to find a new place and the town that I was living in didn't have any places and I had to have something show up so I committed to saying Philippians 419 which is my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus what was my need my need was a place to, to live and I had a very limited amount of time so I committed to saying Philippians 419 for one hour every night and when everybody else went to bed I went out in the other room and I began I began to confess and say out my mouth the promise of Philippians 419 my God Holy Ghost shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus guess who began to hear that he began to hear his word he began to hear the faith that was in his word it wasn't even my faith it was his faith because it was already resident in the word and with it wasn't even close to the end of the month but in a few short weeks oh, it might not seem to you like a few short weeks when you're doing it for an hour every night walking back and forth I'd pray in tongues some but mostly I was saying my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus and I went about my business for the rest of the day but as I was driving past a certain place lo and behold a sign appeared out there somebody was renting a house I said oh let's look at that I went in the lady said she just put the sign out literally literally just came back in from putting the sign out we signed the lease the next day my God supplied all my need. that was the promise the promise was fulfilling his word the promise the promise was fulfilling his word a promise which promise did he fulfill the one that was said are you getting this Colossians chapter 4 let's look at verse 3 with all praying also for us that God would open to us a door of utterance that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak a door of utterance being opened that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak what's being made manifest but the promise of God it will be effectual and effectual would be the Holy Ghost manifesting himself in your situation if the Holy Ghost manifests himself in your situation that is the promise of God being made manifest you see what we're talking about the promises of God being made manifest he is the promise he said the promises of God I'm showing you the door that you can walk through effectually 
that will make it manifest and it's a door of utterance say it's a door of utterance first Corinthians 16 verse 9 for a great door and effectual is opened unto me it's a great door and effectual what door this door of utterance that I'm talking about it's a great door it'll open listen it will open up many things to you that can't be opened any other way because we're talking about the promise of God being made manifest Holy Ghost God in the earth today this works this will be effective to you where other things may not but until you do it it's hard to explain you need to take a promise of God and put it in your mouth and commit to saying it especially for a period of time until the word itself makes itself manifest until you do it it's hard to explain but there is a supernatural element to the spoken word of God it's God himself the promise and his faith that's embedded in every word of God and when you learn this you're it's easier for you to go back there again because I've been there before been where you say I've been to the place where in saying effectually the promise of God that I bump into the supernatural power of God that's in that word and it's effectual that's the door I'm talking about walking through you got to go there there's a supernatural element to saying the word it's beyond you it's not even your word you're saying his word you're saying his promise who is the promise that promise is just part of him and you're saying it you're in agreement with it you're walking with him in the earth in it if you've been down that trail several times you get better at it say I get better at it it gets more effectual I liken to it like the third rail you know trolleys and trains where they have three rails the two on the outside are for the wheels to ride on but the middle one holds the power for the train itself so you're putting your tongue on that third rail and you get better at it I've learned how to put my tongue on the third rail of God's Word and keep it there until that power begins to manifest in your life and I've learned this over the years there is power in every word of God to bring itself to pass in your life if you will say it if you will put your tongue on it and you'll get better at going there I promise once you do it that door will be open to you I mean I talk to people all the time and I can tell they've never been here I get a blank look on their face you need to go here once you go here that door will be open to you and you'll be like me you'll say there's power in every word of God to bring itself to pass if you'll just say it but you've got to say it and say it and say it enough until you finally get your tongue on the third rail and it goes out beyond you and accomplishes that promise in your life who accomplished it you No, the Holy Ghost that you're walking with the door opens and once you've done this once you've experienced it you will have accessed one of the greatest truths that door opened to you he the Holy Ghost the promise will do whatever you say he will do he's the promise what you say he will do what you say continually say in the active sense of the word 
i say my god supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by christ jesus i never stop saying that because i don't say something else the promise will do whatever you say he will do i promise the holy ghost name is literally i promise i promise has said that he will do whatever you say he will do i promise that's his name you will be changed you will be changed into someone who knows how to use their tongue to say the word to have the holy ghost do things that he's already said i'm not i'm not trying to manufacture i'm not trying to force him to do something that he doesn't want to do he's already said that he wants to do that so commit to saying it commit to being changed by it because you are changed into it let it convert you let it the word in saying the word convert you from being one thing to being another if i'm going to say uh, deuteronomy 8 18 god gives me power to get wealth i'm being converted and changed from someone who didn't have power to get wealth into someone who has power to get wealth be changed from to be changed from someone who doesn't have that into someone who does have that and you are changed into that yes my life and situation is changed into that but i'm changed into that which i've said i'm not the same person that i used to be over here through this door i'm different than i was over there I'm a different person I've been changed into that which I've said I've said it enough to where that has become me mark chapter 4 verse 26 and he said so is the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knows not how here's where the magic happens he knows not how it seems like magic who was the one casting the seed into the ground the man so the man is casting the word how would you cast a word you'd have to cast it by saying so the man is saying a word and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knows not how day and night he's casting the seed casting the seed casting the seed in the day casting the seed at night now i was thinking about you know jesus said behold the fowls of the air but as i was thinking about the birds they get up in the morning and they start doing something what do they start doing in the morning have you ever heard them they start tweet 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 tweetily tweet 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 they're tweeting and then after a while they'll stop that and then they'll go off and they'll do their stuff i don't know what they're doing they just go off and do their stuff right and then around dusk what happens again here they go again tweet 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 consider them you sow the word in the morning tweet 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 and then at night you sow the word tweet 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 but during the day you go about your business and then at night you go to sleep and then in the morning you get up and the seed springs and grow is that a promise yeah 
you sow the word it will spring and grow up and you don't know how but all of a sudden that thing begins to manifest in your life and it begins to overtake you you become changed by it it's being consistent day and night saying over time say saying over time being consistent and saying that scripture that verse over time it springs and grows up you don't even know how well things will change for you when you walk through this effectual door of utterance your life will never be the same and you'll begin walking in the promises of God with the promise who is God in the earth I worship you Holy Ghost I thank you for it I thank you that these people are blessed right now in this word is coming on them and transforming them day and night day and night and things shall never be the same if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are the promise and one of your promises is that I would be made rich and have no sorrow with it and that you would supply all of my need according to your riches I thank you that my needs are met and I am made rich with no sorrow added in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right